but that really hasn't stopped Frida from expressing herself. Hi guys, this is Ariel. Welcome to my channel. So the artist I'm going to talk about today is Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is a very well-known Mexican female painter and with her life, a little bit of which I'm going to talk about a bit later on um, she is an very, she's a very inspiring figure and an amazing artist and maybe because of that, I think you might have seen a lot of people wear um, costumes, makeup and hair like Frida Kahlo's around the time of Halloween and for me, the first time I got to know her, not that I got to know her in person, um, the first time I got to hear of her story is uh, when I was 10, when I was in elementary school. So I remember my homeroom teacher was reading and talking about this book, uh, this red book, um, and it was Frida Kahlo's uh, biography. And the picture on the book cover was very, very strong, very, very impressive, so it just, it, the image is still there, still in my mind. Yeah, so I just picked that image, picked uh, the picture as the first one to introduce to you today, later on. And before looking at some of her works of art right away, um, I would like to talk a little bit more about her life first. So um, when she was six years old, um, Frida got disabled by polio. That means um, her right leg and her right foot got so much thinner than her left ones. On top of that, a very terrible, uh, tragic accident, traffic accident happened to her. So when Frida Kahlo was in a bus, a streetcar collided with the bus. And at the moment, um, this steel handrail just went through her. So... Um, her spine and her, her pelvis just got fragmented and after that accident um, she had to go through so much pain so many complications and a lot of operations throughout her life but that really hasn't stopped Frida from expressing herself um, her thoughts through art so whenever I think of Frida Kahlo now, I, it just reminds me of what Meryl Streep said at uh, the Golden Globe Awards. Um, she said, take your broken heart and make it into art. And in case of Frida Kahlo, um, she didn't really succumb to the pain and she just didn't give up and kept pursuing her art. I think that's what's admirable about her, yeah. And when you talk about Frida Kahlo's life, there is this very meaningful and significant figure without whom you cannot really complete the puzzle. It's Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera is also a very well-known Mexican artist, and he was 20 years older than Frida Kahlo, but that really didn't stop them from falling in love with each other. So they were madly in love, although people used to compare them to a dove and an elephant, but they were so in love. But um, this guy, Diego Rivera, was kind of an homme fatale figure, so he had a lot of affairs with other women, and one of the relationships is very, very shocking, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. Um, but they loved each other throughout their lives so they got married but then they got divorced and then they got remarried again so there's just so much to talk about their love and hate relationship but I'm thinking of saving that story for another segment of my channel that I've been working on and to give you a little hint it's gonna be about a couple artists so from now on let's look through um, some of her works of art uh, but um, before moving right on to that I would like to recommend you two books um, if you're a Korean viewer and a Korean uh, Korean speaker, 
then I would like to read you this one if you want to know more about Frida Kahlo's life. It's the book called Yesurugai yeah, Tenzing, um, The Birth of an Artist. And no, the book is not solely about Frida Kahlo. It's just uh, her story is only a part of it, but it really gives you, uh, tells you some unknown facts about Frida Kahlo from a different angle. And I think you would enjoy it if you want to know more about her, like more um, unknown facts about her. And if you're an English speaker, um, I would like you to read this one. Uh, it's the book from Life Portrait series, and it's just named Frida Kahlo. And it's by um, Zana Alkayat and Nina Cosford. I'll try to find a link and put it, uh, write it down below. Mm. Yeah, it's an um, illustration book. So it has all these cute relationship, relationship? <laughs> illustrations along with the text. And it's also in Korean too. So there are a lot of versions in different languages, I assume, or maybe just in Korean and in, in English. So it's a, quite a short read, but it tells you a lot. So I highly recommend this one too. Yeah. So from now on, let's really look through some of our works of art and uh, find out what you can fill from the paintings. Okay, so here we go. I pay myself because I'm so often alone and because I'm the subject I know best, so said Frida. Thus, she drew many self-portraits throughout her life. In this very one, there's her quietly shedding tears. A number of nails are poking her all over her body. It's hard to even imagine how much pain she's been through. Inside her, there's this Ionian column. It's fragmented into pieces if Frida once said, I'm not sick, I'm broken. However, she doesn't look weak. Rather, she looks strong, she looks firm, and she looks adamant. Although broken into pieces, she's not crumbling down here. Her eye seems to tell us that despite all the pain, she's not giving up. On the top, there are lyrics from a Mexican folk song. Look, if I loved you, it was because of your hair. Now that you're without hair, I don't love you anymore. Diego Rivera, Frida Kahlo's lifetime lover, had an affair with Cristina, Frida's closest sister. Then Frida and Diego got divorced. Now she's on her own. She cut off her hair, which Diego used to love. Yet in this painting, she looks rather confident. Although hard inside, she's strong and independent. Here, there's a deer, a wounded deer. It's shot by many arrows. It's hurt, it's bleeding. However, it's surprisingly calm, it's enduring. It's not dying, it's living, overcoming the wounds. It wouldn't be that difficult for a person who's lived a happy, healthy, and satisfying life to celebrate it. Of course, why not? But when a person who's been through so much still celebrate the beauty of life, then it gets all the more surprising power. Here, in the very last painting Frida drew in a life, she wrote Viva la Vida on it. In spite of all the struggles she's been through, she could see the beauty and worthiness of life. 